Okay, so uh, first of all, thank you very much, University, uh, for giving this opportunity to share uh, the knowledge on this platform. So today I will be speaking on uh, the very interesting topic, which is a baseline uh, need for any infertility center is basic IVF lab setup. So before going to this, uh, I would like to brief about some, some important terms which are we going to use in this presentation. Like ART, ART means assisted reproductive techniques. This includes all the procedures, whatever uh, we perform on infertile couple to help them in getting conception. And as we were discussing, infertility is becoming uh, day by day increasing at very great speed. So the number of centers offering the services has also come up very fast. And for running a successful ART procedure, a good basic laboratory setup is required because you know the, the process involves handling of gametes, that is sperms and oocytes, and uh, that has to be handled outside the body. So you need a well-equipped, well-sophisticated laboratory for performing the procedure. There are only different types of procedure, but each procedure needs that kind of uh, environment to perform. And good setup, whenever you say good setup, it means a good planning, good material use, quality control, qualified staff, and good instrumentation. These are very important factors, very important part of a good setup where you can offer the quality. Because you know, in today's uh, competitive world, there are so many centers, so many centers offering the same services. So ultimately in infertility, what what makes difference? Difference is made by the results, outcome. What results your center is giving? Like um, if we overall, if we see the take-home baby rate with all these uh, ART procedures, we can offer up to 40% uh, success rate. 40% means out of uh, 10, four get the full-term pregnancy. So to achieve this goal, you need some basic uh, requirements. We will discuss later on. Now, before going to this, as I was saying that recently there is a legislation passed, bills are already in place, and uh, they are uh, they are just to regulate all these uh, uh, infertility offer uh, services offering centers to to uh, keep the documentation because see what happens that uh, in India the infertility started or this IVF has started in 1990s. And I used to, uh, I was very uh, fortunate enough to work with the very pioneer uh, people of IVF in 93 and uh, started embryology. So from that time, now in today's era, there is a lot of difference. That time everything was manufactured or prepared in the laboratory itself related with the procedures. Now everything is ready made available, standard quality con controlled and everything is done. So. But because this is uh, this this was working, so many centers not officially reporting what procedure they are done. So government have come up with this bill. This was their last ten years in process, but ultimately this is passed. So first we'll discuss little bit about this, and then I will go in depth about the laboratory setup requirements. So <clears throat> as far this bill is concerned, they have divided um, into four categories that is depending on the procedure or the services they offer. So very first thing they have made it clear that if you are handling any kind of gamete outside body, you need to register under ART app. There is a national board where you have to apply for registration. They will give you a registration and then you can start working. So the as far as infertility clinic is concerned, they are mostly categorized into two parts, that is level one clinic and level two clinic. Now, before this, you have to understand the procedures offered or the services offered by the center. Now, as I said, there are various procedures depending upon the patient condition offered. So in very uh, simple language, if I would like to explain. So very first line of treatment we offer is uh, the investigation which include the semen analysis, that is the male partner workup and um, similarly the female partner workup. And then the 
if the things are normal and because of some uh, other hormonal changes or some reason which can be clinically managed if this infertility is there then the services offered by to them is uh, procedures like iui that is intra uterine insemination in which we prepare the sperm outside body capacitate them activate them and then transfer back in the uterus to help in fertilization so this is if this procedure is performed then this comes under level 1 clinic so here you 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 can perform up to this procedure on but there is level 2 clinic which has an sophisticated instruments lab where you can offer all other additional services higher higher services other than iui that is ivf in vitro fertilization icc icsi that is intra cytoplasmic sperm injection and related procedures so this is an high end clinic then similarly if this clinic is also offering on surrogacy which is again uh, need of the day so many couples are suffering and they need surrogacy so that center has to register as a surrogacy clinic also and then the fourth one is the art bank this art bank is again assisted reproductive technique bank which offer donor oocytes and donor sperms you all are aware of that niki donor we were saw the sperm donation is done by the people so similarly the, these are this is voluntarily done by the people who are really interested in helping an infertile couple the identity of the uh, donors is strictly confidential so this is the work of an art bank and whatever procedure how it has to be performed how the paper work is it is all elaborated in this act so nowadays every center is um, um, following this act now we'll come to our lab setup now what happens that as i said level 1 level 2 clinic so previously um, if we calculate the in outs of this lab setup the a full equipped laboratory setup is a costly setup it requires around 30 40 lakh rupees investment only in instruments so at village level or at a small uh, district level everywhere keeping this setup is not possible so what they used to do was there is a tertiary center means some doctor is sitting there they are counseling consulting the patient giving medication and then when the final preparation is done procedure is supposed to perform they are sent to the main center in main town and there they get the process done so they are the basic tertiary centers where this basic work up is done what we are talking here about lab setup is it's a main setup where the entire facility entire procedure is to be performed so these are the main setup situated centrally having all facilities under one roof since it is a big setup it need lot of professional personnel to get lab working with maximum efficiency now what what i mean to explain here is that because you are offering the advanced procedures here and whatever latest coming as so we added so whenever you plan in laboratory setup or any laboratory setup should be in position to offer them whatever is latest available in the market whatever latest techniques are available with the full means a uh, patient once comes then there is no need for him to go for some other test done to some some other center or some other center everything will be done under one roof and remind uh, to just to remind you this um, in our society infertility is still um, considered as an uh, means people wants privacy they whenever they visit infertility center they they wants privacy they don't want to get exposed so so um, that precaution is also taken care of that they are consulting their uh, waiting room their area this all all things are taken care in an laboratory setup so it requires good design facilities budget professionals well trained staff location etc and whenever we talk about an art center now art center must have this kind of lab setup